Matilda Jocelyn Gage was inducted into the Wolf Clan of the Mohawk Nation in 1893, the same year she was put on trial for voting in a local school election. Her being inducted in the Mohawk, I think, reflected her support for Native American sovereignty in the 19th century, which was really under attack. She realized uh, that women's status could be different just from looking at the fact that it was different among the Haudenosaunee. She was so impressed with the Haudenosaunee culture and the responsibility and authority that the women had as clan mothers. And because she gave that so much attention, they, they inducted her as an honorary clan member. And how this whole place was permeable with the, it, with the sovereign nation, nation. And so to her, she's seeing women who live with honor in their community and huge responsibilities and very close to the earth. Right? You know, and she saw everything from that to the fact that they get to veto a declaration of war. I think it was enormous for her because it was one of those influences that we get where we we hardly even talk about it because it comes as a personal relationship. It might be with a parent or a child or a spouse or um, where someone so profoundly influences you that she wrote, of course, much about what the Iroquois, as she called them, in the paper.